Okay, last time you saw me, I was messing up my own fox, but I think I got him sort of back under control. Um, we're, we're, we're close to done. Um, so we're going to do some detail on the eyes, some whiskers, and um, we need to get a little bit of um, top coat on the back of his neck. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're... I have attached the ears is all the the fuzz from the bottom of the ears so I just want to take some of the top coat and lay it over his neck and hide that um, core wool Okay, that's better. I've felt that some more, but just want to get that on there. And then um, his eyes are just black. If you want to make them gold, there is gold in your kit. And there's no trick to this except to take a very small amount and you can either try to put the gold in a thin line, you know, the way just exactly where you want it, or you can put the gold in a little circle or oval and then put more black to create the black dot. So basically you're layering, you started with the black eye and then you put the, um, the gold on top of that, leaving a black rim. And then you put the black dot, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, then you put the black dot back on top of the gold. I usually try to just put the gold where I want it to be um, by stabbing it with the needle. So like I said, there's no trick to this. It's just, it just takes patience and a little bit of effort. Sometimes you have to redo it. Remember that their eyes are pretty much on the fronts of their heads. So when you look at your fox from the front, you should be able to see his eyes. And the last detail in the eye is a little white dot, which always brings your, your animal or person to life because it represents um, moisture and um, and light so it's an important important detail I usually put them at about um, kind of in that same line from from nose to ear so on their on the animals right side it's at 11 o'clock, and on the other side, it's at 2 o'clock. All right, so there's one eye finished. I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, I see one more thing that I want to do to my fox, which is give him a little more white here on his neck and chest. So I'm going to take some of the white, and I'm going to just do a simple taco fold. Just fold it in half. They, they also sometimes have some gray um, up under their chin in their markings there. I put some on him. Um, so we can do that too. I'm going to take the white. I'm going to leave this kind of loose. And I'm just going to put this up under his chin here. And then where I'm felting it, I'm going to put a little bit of gray as well. I'm 
Okay. And then I can decide later um, how, you know, how much I want to felt this down or where. But I just wanted to show you that I was putting it, putting it on there. And finally, um, your fox needs whiskers, which are in your kit. And it's horse hair. And the easiest way I have found to do this is to thread a needle with the horse hair, just like you were sewing. Just fold it back a little so you have something to grab onto. And then go from one side to the other in the muzzle. And sometimes I, I don't just go straight always because they're whiskers. Um, stick out at different angles so you can kind of go in like an X shape and then pull it all the way through leaving the length of whisker that you want okay. and then you just cut the other end and I do that anywhere from three to five times it just depends on how many whiskers you want your fox to have And to keep them from just slipping out, I put a little dab of glue. Just a tiny little dab where the whisker meets the, the wool keeps it from from slipping through. Okay, well I've really enjoyed sharing this fox with you guys and I hope you've had fun making yours and that you spend some time, you know, looking at the pictures and stabbing and sculpting because that's that's what it takes um, you know, to get all the details right. Next I think we're either gonna do we've had a lot of crust for mice and for ponies. Um, so we are going to do one or both of those and then we also want to do some ornaments for the holidays and for it's just a really nice beginner um, place to place to start is the ornaments so um, thanks so much and I'll see you next time